Start by loading some sound files, either by going to audio menu and picking at sound file. Or pressing command plus B. You can also use the sound files menu inside the sample editor. In this tutorial I'm starting with some sound files previously loaded. To create a sample, choose a sound file, if needed, zoom in and out in the small waveform, and then define your sample by selecting something in the big top waveform. Define the amplitude envelope. Click to add points, shift click to delete them, and mouse drag to adjust their position. To adjust the sample start and end points, you can use the number boxes labeled start and end. Preview your sample, by pressing the playback button, or pressing P in your computer keyboard. You can use the virtual keyboard to playback, transpose and reverse your sample. Playback here is polyphonic. This allows you to play several samples at the same time with different settings. Pressing the stop button silences everything. Choose the desired filter from the menu, high pass, low pass, band pass, band stop, peak knock, low shelf, high shelf, and adjust its settings. To activate check the use filter button. A delay can be applied between original sound and its replica. This kind of delay, very small values, is used in this context to define spatial attributes of small sound particles, by placing a micro-delayed replica of it into different channels. A positive value places a delayed replica on the output B, and a negative value places it on the output A. Each sample has two outputs, A and B, that can be routed up to eight audio buses. Now let's put something on the timeline. Move the green playback bar to define a time position and, in the sample editor, press the plus button. Hit playback in the timeline to hear the result. Let's create some more samples. We can also click inside the timeline, to define the insert position, time and vertical positioning. This ends this tutorial. Thank you for watching.